at Clifton Rugby Club as preparations for the first leg of the semi-final against Rotherham Titans continues. Backs and skills coach Matt Sherratt has joined us. What's the mood been like in camp this week? Oh, very good, very buoyed after a brilliant performance and a great resort last uh, weekend. So that's really put a spring in the, uh, in the players' steps. And we've had a good week off the back of it, really. So we knew confidence would be high Monday after um, Saturday. And that's proved to be the case. It was great. Absolutely. And the first leg at Ashton Gate, how important is that home advantage? Oh, look, the next two games are going to be massively important. And uh, every game at Ashton Gate is important. So it is pretty much not even one game at a time, really. Every every minute at a time is high-pressure rugby. And uh, obviously being at home gives us... Uh, an element of confidence because we've had good results at Ashton Gate but it's going to be um, a period of high tension and high stakes uh, looking forward to uh, looking forward to the weekend brilliant thanks Matt now let's have a look back over the first week of play of the playoff campaign on Bristol Rugby TV Bristol hosted their weekly press conference at the gate and Andy Robinson said that Saturday signalled a new chapter in the season yeah the, the sort of, you know the qualification process at the beginning and the key for us was to, uh, uh, we wanted to win the, the league and uh, we performed well you know, throughout the season uh, to achieve that. The whole squad has done uh, very well and now it's about getting a fit squad ready to play these uh, next four games. Ryan Jones spoke to us about the excitement of running out in front of the home supporters this weekend. This is something that we've been waiting for, if you like, the last few weeks, having qualified so early for the playoffs. but. There's a real air of excitement here to have a first, the opening semi-final at home in front of our, our wonderful fans, as you, as you know, is, is a real incentive, a real excitement. You know, we, we didn't get it right last year and we've waited 12 whole months to, to, to make amends. So, you know, we're very much trying to do that. Charlie Ainsbury was shortlisted for the Championship Player of the Month after four tries in April. And the winger also scooped Bristol Rugby TV's Try of the Month. A threat wherever he is on the field in broken play as we saw last week and he's shown it again tonight Charlie Amesbury sat on his shoulder and a neat little ball outside saw the first try of the night scored by Charlie Amesbury We spoke to Dwayne Peel in the next of our The Big Interview series and the skipper told us there was a great team spirit among the squad Yeah definitely I think that's important in any, in any team sport and you know we, we don't you know, if we hadn't had that, we'd have lost a lot more games this year. And that's simple, you know, no matter how much talent you've got, if you're not together as a squad, it's, it's very difficult. The number of sides have shown that over the years. So um, that'll be important next couple of weeks, you know, I think. You know, we've worked hard together, as, as I mentioned, as a group. We launched The Breakdown, our official playoffs podcast with Sam FM. Sean Holly and Ryan Jones were live studio guests, and you can download episode one from iTunes now. We'll be at Ashton Gate on Saturday with full coverage of all the action and the reaction from the first leg of the semi-final. So from everybody at Bristol Rugby TV, good luck to Andy and his team.